Season 4, Episode 12. Brought to you with Milestones at Overland Junction, your new route to motorcycle adventure. For more information about Milestones, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon ate his own body weight in Hanoi Street Food and hiked up to the Cannon Fort on Cat Bar Island. Possibly walk past the uh, karaoke bar without letting you have a listen to the fantastic sounds that come out of it. Cat bar karaoke. Let me let you have a listen. Ready? Son, rock it out. I'm not a very good singer, but I know I'm not a very good singer, so you would never get me doing something like that, unless I'm very, very drunk. Cat bar karaoke night. <laughs> well, the time has come, I'm afraid. Um, in a couple of days' time, we'll be leaving Vietnam, and uh, I no, no, no longer need the blue blue polka dot poncho and it's, it's quite sad to be seeing it go to be honest. It's been a fantastic poncho uh, but the time has come so goodbye poncho, you've been a good friend. I don't know about anyone else but here at Adventure Spec we all dearly miss watching Lyndon wear that poncho. But as he said, these will be his final days in Vietnam and in this week's finale Lyndon is back on two wheels bring his time here to a close in style. The last stop, Cat Bar Island, will be the hospital cave. Built between 1963 in 1965, the hospital cave served as a secret and bomb-proof hospital during the American War. So we're inside the hospital cave, and uh, you can see these rooms really well constructed. So this is the hospital rooms. Crazy to think that this is all underground. This incredibly well constructed three story feat of engineering is situated 10 kilometers north of Cat Bar Town and was in constant use until 1975 when it was turned into this historic tourist attraction. No idea what's behind this door, but it looks pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> I 
That is awesome. Whoa. Sink or the operating table or something. A bathtub. So we're now on the hospital roof, on the roof of the hospital, in this hospital cave. You can actually see the roof of the actual cave up there. To give you an idea of how big it is, you can step back here. There's how big this hospital cave is. So quiet, there's nobody in here. Well, that's it. Um, that's the hospital cave in Katbar Island. Um, it was used right up until 1974 75, um, and now it's converted into a tourist attraction. We're just hiking back down from the uh, hospital cave. I bet it was mad at the time when. Uh, all the treatments were going on in there and it's so secretive, nobody knew it was there. And uh, just going through the jungle here, hiking back down. And all these things, although the tourist attractions cost pence to get into, um, so that one was 50p. Worth 50p even if you only spend a few minutes there and have a look around. Um, great to see these uh, bits of history. Well, good morning peeps and hello again from Races to Places. Uh, I just wanted to do a small video this morning. I'm just taking a stroll down the harbour front here in Cat Bar Island, Vietnam. Today is my last full day in Vietnam uh, and it's been a fantastic experience. I've been here almost a month and I've been without Basel bike, which is the first time in eight months on the trip that I haven't had the bike with me. Um, I've missed the bike to be honest, but it's been a different experience. I travelled all the way from the very south, Phu Quoc Island, right to the north of Vietnam, to Ha Long Bay, and I tried to use as many different forms of transport as possible, and I filmed it all as well, so hopefully you'll, uh, you'll find it interesting. You know, I started out with scooters, spent the majority of the time on scooters, uh, had a number of different scooters on the way up, and uh, I, I used a bus for an overnight, this cut a lot of uh, transportation, right, I could cut a lot of uh, riding out and just meant that I could sleep on the bus and let somebody else worry about all the uh, local motorists and potholes in the roads. So I used boats, I used kayaks, I even went on a, an old wooden sailing ship uh, to travel north. I used bicycles, I went on foot to do some hiking in the jungle, which I've never experienced before. Um, it's been great, the people of Vietnam are fantastic, uh, really experienced some wonderful things while I've been here. The food's great, especially the seafood, and uh, the weather has been so kind. Of the almost month that I've been here, I've had only two days of rain, uh, in which I managed to get away with just putting a poncho on the scooter and uh, continue my travels. We've seen waterfalls, we've seen some amazing things. Uh, the city experiences have been mad. So Ho Chi Minh City is just bonkers. It's called the motorcycle city for a reason. There is thousands of motorcycles everywhere, like nothing I've ever seen before. And you understand why when you come to Vietnam. The majority of vehicles on the road are either scooters or trucks. And to be honest, scooters definitely outweigh four-wheel vehicles here in Vietnam, so it's the way to travel. It is the motorcycle country that I've been to so far, uh, the number one motorcycle country. Some fantastic trails and also some good roads too. We've seen mountain passes with mist in the mountains, 
and I've even done a little bit of dirt riding as well, playing around on the scooters, although the suspension's not that great, so we have to be a little bit careful. The canyoning up in the mountains, jumping in rock pools, sliding down waterfalls, all of that sort of stuff just makes you realise how cool this place is. Kayaking around the casts of Halong Bay, it's just been great. And the market town of Hoi An, where we saw some amazing foods for sale on the market, something I've never experienced before. Uh, just so, such a culture rich country. I've had such a great time. I hope you enjoy all the videos that I've made of this ace country. I've enjoyed it, I hope you enjoy it too. And that's it from Vietnam. Uh, I'm gonna hop on a plane and head to Bangkok now. So, we'll see you at the other side. It's back to Hanoi then, and on to the airport. It's been a pleasure watching Lin Lin travel from the very south to the very north of Vietnam, trying all the different food along the way and discovering the historic sites and the various conflicts that have colored this country's rich history. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for season five, when Lyndon finally gets reunited with Basil. How often you see an elephant at the side of the road? Next stop on Races to Places, Thailand.